So a very simple intervention for anxiety that you can use when you're conversing with someone. So it's not like a full blown technique or step-by-step -step process, but a simple thing that you can do in conversation. What people do when they're experiencing anxiety, there's a specific coding going on inside the brain. And I'm not talking about general anxiety that's caused by often um, trauma or something like that. I'm talking about anxiety that is more like a, what if something goes wrong? What if I fail? What if it's not perfect? What if I say something stupid? What if I fail that test? Those, those types of situations. And the what if scenario, there can be many of them. So that's a, that's a problem. In, in fact, in my classes, I often refuse to answer what if questions. And the reason why I refuse to answer what if questions, other than that my students have to come up with some other clever way to ask their questions. The what if question, what if I fail my first coaching session? What if I can't help that client? I mean, we can sit here all day long and what if everything out, you know? So what is it that you then do to kind of cut off the conversation to not spiral down into the, what if this, then that, and then it will be more awful. No, no, no. Usually it spirals down into we're all going to die or it starts over again. Yeah. And then I will be really bad. And then I'll have anxiety and it just starts all over again. The thing, the thing is what you should do in the brain is what people do that do not have anxiety. What is it that they tell themselves? They're shy of techniques. If you're interested in, by the way, of learning a whole bunch of techniques on anxiety, there's a product coming out, or maybe by the time that you watch this video, it's already there, on anxiety and worry for self-coaching and coaching. I also do online training, and in Mexico, Bali, Miami, Venice Beach, Amsterdam, I give full training in NLP, which is the study of the successful, teaches you how to use your brain, thoughts, behaviors, and emotions, some of the most powerful coaching techniques out there, personal, personal development techniques out there. Um, so what is it someone does then? Well, what someone does who does not experience anxiety, they tell themselves, well, if that were to happen, then I'll deal with it. Yeah, so well, what if it goes wrong? Then you'll deal with it. What if I don't know what to say? Then you'll deal with it in that moment. What if the news is bad? Then you'll deal with it. And what that, that the, what then, the, then you will deal with it does, it kind of stops the conversation. It can stop the spiral down, so to speak. And, and it's sort of like, well, if that happens, then you'll deal with it in that moment. You can also like, well, then you'll deal with it. But what can you do right now to, to prepare better, to mitigate that risk, if that's realistic at all? So I often do that when the client is like, whoa, what if my business fails? Then you'll deal with it. Well, what if my business fails? Then you'll, if well, it depends on what the obstacle is. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about obstacles. So that's for next week. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.